Hi, welcome to uh, Zazy Line. Um, today we are gonna be making um, this trick or treat bag for kids. So um, I made only one strap, so it's uh, easier for the boys to uh, or girls uh, to carry it on their shoulder, so they don't have to. So it's not slipping from the uh, the shoulder, and. Um, I think it's a decent size. It's gonna hold um, a few candies. Um, it is lined, so we have a nice lining. Uh, it's a boxed style, so we are gonna make uh, the, the bottom a little bit wider. We will sew these pieces together. So to make it one larger piece. Um, so let's just uh, put these together and we will sew right in here. So you will put the, uh, the right sides together okay i will show you how to uh, iron the seam so make it nice and flat it's gonna be always easier to uh, to sew when we have the um, area ready so we will go right in between and make it nice and flat so uh then we will we will flip it around. We will go back to the sewing machine and we will sew on this side. So we will just go uh, just a few millimeters over on both sides and sew like this. Okay, this part is done. So now we have it nice and flat and we will add the uh, uh, top purple pieces. So let's just put the right sides together. We will clip them on both sides. And we can put two, three pins. Okay, that's one side. Let's do the other side, the same thing. And again, and we will go back to the sewing machine and we will sew on both sides. So this side and this side. Okay, and let's do the other side when we are here, and the same thing. Let's make the seam facing down, so away from the top. Because we will go back to the sewing machine and we will sew on top. And we can flip it the other way. Now it's gonna be easier. And let's do one more press. Okay, one side. And let's do the other side. Make sure the seam is facing that way. Okay, and we are ready to sew. So now we are gonna top stitch right here on the orange part going down. Okay, and we are gonna sew, we will do a top stitch right here on the orange part because we have the seam going down this way. So we just want to make sure it's gonna stay that way.
So now we have done top stitch on both sides. One side, second side. Now what we are gonna do, again, we are gonna put the right sides together. So we will do a nice little box. We will take it to the sewing machine and we will sew on both sides. This side and this side. All right. We are back. And so we have done this part. So this side is done. This side is done. So we have both sides. And uh, now we are going to go to the lining. We will put this one on the side for a little bit. Now let's grab the other piece, which is the lining piece. And we will do the same thing what we did with the other piece. We will put the good sides. So that's the shiny, nice shiny sides. The right sides will go together. It depends on your lining. You probably... You're not going to have a shiny side. You'll have a different fabric. But um, the right sides are going together. And we will sew. We will take it to the sewing machine. And we will sew again on the sides. One side here. One side over there. Okay, this is going to be the fun part. So we have one part here and one part here so this is the outside fabric and this is the lining okay we are gonna leave it as it is we have top stitch on uh, both sides so we have like a two pouches now so if we look on the inside still the good the right side is inside on both okay and we are gonna leave it that way and uh, let's do the uh, boxes on the bottom we will do two inches so we will do a little um, square and we need few tools here so I have uh, my uh, marking pen it's washable and let's do two inch uh, two inches but it's from the seam line let me make sure that you can see it so this is the uh the seam on the side you are gonna measure from the uh seam line and we are gonna measure two inches from here we will do a little mark and then we will do two inches from the bottom and that's gonna make a little square we're gonna make a mark so we know where to cut okay so we have two by two but it's two from the line two and two we will do the same thing on the other side so it should look like this two inches by two inches we will put it on the side and we will do the same thing on the lining side just remember you have to do it on the side on the bottom the bottom and cut out the boxes one and second so this is how it should look like two by two if you want the bottom to be a little bit wider you can do two and a half by two and a half um if you don't want it as wide um then you can do maybe one and a half by one and a half or you can just leave it plain if you don't want any box you don't have to do this part you can just skip it but what i like 
is that it's gonna give them some room you see there's uh this box this is what we are doing this is what we we are trying to achieve so it just it looks overall it looks a little better a little bit more professional i think if it's boxed and let's keep it this way we are not gonna flip it over we will just do this now we have to and we will need clips for this we will put these sides together make sure that these ones are touching they are both on the same on both sides and we will put a clip in there okay And get the other end and one here and one here and we will do it on both sides so that's one side the same thing on the other side you open it up and you will try to match it up so these sides they have to come together like this okay so we will clip it Side. so we have one side second side we will go back to the machine and we will sew uh, on uh, the sides let's do the same with the lining part again leave it as it is so all the raw edges will stay on the uh, wrong side and we will flip it not flip it we will put it together line it up this is a little bit easier because we uh this was one piece so we don't have any um we didn't sew on this side here and here okay we will take it to the sewing machine and we will sew on both sides Okay, we are back and so this is how it should look like we have both sides on the uh, outer fabric and we have two sides two boxes on uh, uh, the lining side and now i will show you how to make the strap so we will put these ones on a side and we will do the midline and let's do the whole thing the whole side okay now when we have it prepared like this we will just put them together and again let's bring the old good clips and we will clip them so they should come to about the same size so on both sides they should be about the same now when we have it like this it looks beautiful we will take the iron and just go over so i'm gonna sew on this side but i will also sew on this side so it makes it nice and flat um so let's go back to the machine This is what we should have so far. We have the outer fabric, we have the lining, and we have the strap. Now it's gonna be a little bit tricky because we have to put it all together. So we are gonna leave the outside fabric as it is. We will take the lining and we have to flip the lining inside out. So the uh, good or the right side will be out in my case it's the shiny side 
and now we will put this inside of the outer fabric so what should happen and that's uh, generally the rule you should have the uh, right fabrics facing each other so this is the inside this is the outside so uh, good fabrics the right side facing each other okay so when we look inside of the bag inside of the bag is the wrong side when we look outside it's the wrong side so the right sides facing each other very important now we are gonna add the strap and we don't want to put the uh, the strap there after we can do that but it's gonna look better if we um do it in one nice clean seam so we will put the strap inside right here on the outer fab fabric right here in the middle because i am making the uh shoulder uh over shoulder uh back And we will put the same thing. It's a little tricky. Uh, you will get it. So we have a sandwich. So this strap is sandwiched in between these two fabrics. I don't know if you can see it. And the old good clip right here. Okay. Now make sure that your uh, strap is not twisted keep it the same so just take it like this like this you get the other side and put it on the other side right here and if you want you can and again in the middle you can clip it so it doesn't move on you and again make sure that the strap is not twisted okay it should be like this not twisted otherwise you will have to redo it nobody wants to redo it and then put it inside we'll tuck it in and uh, let's put the uh, this one in because it's a sandwich the uh, strap is in between these two fabrics right in the middle so it looks nice and we will clip it now we can go around and we will put a few clips here and a few clips here a clip here now on the other side we have to leave a little opening because we are gonna flip the whole thing after it's done so leave about i don't know a few inches on one side the rest you will sew so i will put few clips just to remember because sometimes i forget let's put these ones a little bit closer yeah, closer together this way we will remember why why did we put it that why why did we do it and that's gonna be a little reminder for us not to sew this area okay you can leave a little bit more um i would start somewhere here where the clips are go over and we will go a few times over here uh, because we want to really secure the strap and then let's stop about here so this area is not going to be sewn. I'll just put one more clip as a reminder. Okay. Now we can take it to the uh, sewing machine and we can go around except of this area. So 
So this is where the strap is. So we want to go a little bit more times. We will go over that area a few times. Fix this a little bit because it's not lining up. Okay, and let's go over and over and over a few times. Good, 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 good. Now make sure they both line up. If not, you can adjust it. And we are coming back on the other side and it's close to the uh, strap here. So we really want to make sure the strap is nice and secure. And let's go over that area and let's go back. And now we remember, oh, why do we have so many clips in here? That's because it has to stay open. So let's get out of there. And now the fun part. We will slip everything the right way. So we have a little hole in here. And the hole is important for this reason. We will take everything out. Oh, looking so beautiful. Okay, one. Where is it? Okay, so these are the two boxes. And the box again. And the same thing on the other side. A box here and a box there. Now we will just push it inside. And we are almost done. We will go back to the iron and we will iron the side, make it nice and flat. So it's easy to do the top stitch. And this is how it looks like. So we have the outer fabric. We have a nice box on the bottom and we have the uh, lining on the inside. And the straps are sandwiched in between the lining and the outer uh, fabric. Now, the only thing we should be doing, this has to meet. So if you cut your fabric right, it should, feed, uh, it should uh, meet at the same spot. Now, we will take the iron and we will flatten this up so, uh, so it's easier to, to sew. We will also close this gap. So we will do a little bit here, a little bit here, kind of in between. <clears throat> we will uh, iron it and put a few clips in there and then we will do uh, the top stitch. So we are coming to the end. This is the last, um, I would say, final part. <clears throat> Let's iron. It was pretty easy back to make. And then I'm going to show you, I will do one more thing. Um, I will put a uh, glow in the dark pumpkin or a design on top. So when it's dark outside and the kids are trick or treating, I'm always afraid that they will, nobody's going to see them, especially when they have a costume that is kind of dark. Um, I know there are lots of kids on the streets and everybody drives more safe, but it just, uh, for my peace of mind, I want to um, do it so it's safe. So at least the bag is going to glow in the dark. So I have both uh, binos. Uh, one is uh, reflective 
and one is glow in the dark and i didn't decide yet which one i'm gonna do um but after the back is done i will come back and i will just quickly show you um the final project the final thing so you just want to flatten it you want to make it nice and flat so it's easy to stop stitch and we are almost done i think it's looking fabulous okay let's pull out the strap a little sometimes it can be a little hard to sew in there i mean so iron okay so this area i made it nice and flat so it's easy to stitch we can put a few um, clips in there one here one here okay and we can take it back to the uh, sewing machine and we can so we can do a top stitch right here all around when you are going over the straps you can go back and forth just just do it a few times just to, to make it more secure because that's gonna hold all the heavy candies um believe me the kids usually collect lots of candies last year i think they had around 100 over 100 candies each so um these bags will uh, definitely hold lots of candies and so this is the area where we have the hole and we want to make sure it's closed And a beautiful bag already. We will give it a final press. But this is how it should look like. So on the bottom, we have a nice box. Um, we have a nice lining on the inside. And nice sturdy strap that is uh, wide enough so it's not going to cut into the shoulders so i finally decided to uh, make uh, uh, three different designs for each child a different uh, design and these ones are glow in the dark um, they can be purchased on my website um, very simple iron on you don't need any special equipment and um yeah they will glow in the dark so this is the final product uh three cute trick-or-treat bags i hope you like this tutorial i hope you found it uh, helpful and uh happy crafting And this is how they glow in the dark. So just so you can see that they will be, uh, the little kiddos will be visible from far away. So um, yeah, it's a fun little project. I had lots of fun with it. Um, so glow in the dark stickers on uh, trick-or-treat bags.